Well, it's finally happened. The Will Myers era is over in San Diego. How's it going, everyone? My name's Fame Fryer. Where today we're going to be discussing Padres' longtime outfielder slash first baseman, Will Myers, signing with the Reds. We're going to be discussing not just the signing, but also my personal thoughts on the signing. You know, a lot of people are taking this very, very emotionally because Will Myers has been around for so long and he's been through it all. But we're going to discuss just the signing to start out. Before we even discuss this, I think guys, if you're yet to hit that subscribe button, please do so. I'm posting daily content regarding Major League Baseball, of course, all your favorite teams, all the info you need. Make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already, and let's hop into this. Will Myers signed for one year, 7.5 mil with Cincinnati Reds, as we all very well know. Is this a good signing? I'm unsure. I think it's kind of like a, let's see what we can get at the deadline type of signing. Obviously, Will Myers isn't going to be there when the team's winning. So this was kind of like, let's see if we can flip him for prospects. And if he has a healthy first half and he plays up to his natural ability, yes, he can probably get you a couple prospects at the deadline. But not a bad signing by the Reds. The Reds are doing exactly what they should be doing. They're bringing in veterans to have signings and be able to flip them at the deadline, get more prospects, part of a great rebuild, great front office decisions by them. Will Myers, though, he's been rocky, let's be honest, since 2017. Not on the field a lot, hasn't played to his ability, struck out a lot. He seems lost at the plate. 2020, he had a great season, great little 2020 sprint. And then 2021, he kind of fell back into the same hole. 2022, I think he only played 75, 80 games, if I'm not positive. Um, I'm unsure about that one, but pretty, pretty insane. But when it comes to raw skill and talent, Will Myers has always had it. Is his work ethic there? And that's always been the question, and we still don't have the answer outside of, you know, one to two seasons in his 10-year career now. Have we seen him pull out that work ethic? It still has the grit and grime of being a great signing for the Reds. They have an opportunity to get a project here, a deadline project, as I keep mentioning. You know, their last deadline project, let me remind you guys, was Brandon Jury, and they were able to net themselves Victor Acosta, who I think is a very, very good prospect, a very, very smart decision by the team to land this guy. Very impressed by him. Now, is Will Myers going to land you Victor Acosta? Probably not, because let's be honest, Brandon Jury had like 27 home runs with uh, 300 batting average at the deadline. So, no, I don't think Will Myers is likely to do that, but it's very, very possible. And it'll be interesting to see how he does. Will Myers' biggest issue is health. If he doesn't have his health, he always finds a way to not be on the baseball field and not play up to the level that he's supposed to be at. When he's healthy, he can be very solid. He also has a week or two a year where he turns into like Babe Ruth, guys. This guy has like a week or two stretch where he hits like three home runs, he hits doubles, he looks insane. And that's definitely his ceiling and he has the ability to do that, but for whatever reason, he just cannot do that on a consistent basis. But now let's get into my personal thoughts regarding the matter. Will Myers is the longest tenured Padre. I've, you know, I've been a fan throughout the Will Myers era, quote unquote, when, you know, the Chargers left and Will Myers was the superior athlete in San Diego and the face of San Diego sports. That was, that was, I was a fan then. I understand what it was like. And you know what? I, I liked Will Myers at the time and I've always find Will Myers to be a great guy. Not the greatest baseball player, unfortunately, and not someone that, you know, I would fall in love with, but it's un it's sad to see him go, I guess. You know, it, it kind of hurts the soul of it. You miss him. He's a guy that you loved. He's a guy that you grew up watching. And But it's just, my biggest thing is this. It was time. Unfortunately, it was time. And as a Padres fan, it's a tough pill for a lot of people to swallow. I see a lot of people emotional about it. At a point, there comes a time where it's time to go, and this was the time. He collected his $90 million from us, we gave him a fat payday, and let's be honest, he did not perform to that contract. When you have a certain time to go, it's time to go, and for Will Myers, it was time to go. There's no fit on our roster anymore. We weren't going to pay him more than Carpenter because he got more than Carpenter. Carpenter's going to probably net us a better return in terms of playing on the field and his ability on the field. <sighs> It's just, it was time, unfortunately. At some point, Will Myers, it's... At a point, it becomes time, and the time was now. Very, very unfortunate to see. A lot of people loved Will Myers. I loved Will Myers. You know, it, it was just, it was time. He doesn't fit the roster anymore. That's all I can say is it was time. Once you put the emotional things aside and you're willing to accept that, it makes the Padres a better team, and now we have a better team on the field. I would much rather have 2022 Matt Carpenter than 2022 Will Myers. 
They played about the same game, so let's be honest here. Matt Carpenter played 47, and like I said, Will Myers played just barely double that, which is still nothing. But it'll be interesting to see how it all pans out. I I will say thank you, Will Myers, for getting us through these these cave these cave times, you know, the dark days of San Diego sports. But um, that's all I really have to mention about Will Myers. I'm, I'm you're not gonna see me break down crying. Um, you're not gonna see anything like that. That's just what I think. Thank you again. Will Myers, I guess. But that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. If you're yet to hit that subscribe button right now is a perfect time. Hit the like button if you're going to miss Will Myers. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Yes. 305 to the 619, baby. Let's go. Let's go, San Diego. Linda, straight up, San Diego. Let's fucking go. Woo! It's our fucking house. Hey. It's our house right here, baby. Let's I go. Love